Hello and welcome to another episode of Help Desk with Joe. And with me, as always, Joe. Here we are. We're back. And uh, another uh, review, which yeah. I really like. I like Joe's reviews. It keeps it interesting, keeps it fresh, gives us something to talk about uh, that's new and exciting. I like spending money and getting gadgets. Seen on the other hand, not a fan so much. Something about paying bills and all and that. The budget, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Some fancy words thrown in there. Yeah, it's just a big word I don't understand. So <laughs> I understand. I got you. We'll, we'll just plow ahead and pretend like she didn't even say anything. Okay, that'll work. We'll just get all kinds of nifty stuff. <laughs> I like that plan. You may not get dinner, but I like that. <laughs> it, it, it benefits you, so that's there all that matters. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, talk to me about, or give me a quick description of what we're talking about this week. Okay, today's topic, we are going to review from Impal the, the StreamBot Y. StreamBot Y. And that's when I saw it. We, we had a conversation earlier about it looks neat. It looks uh, got a lot of neat features to it. What exactly does it do? This is a Bluetooth FM transmitter. If you remember it several shows ago right i think one of the Only very first, first 10 yeah yeah we did a review on uh, fm transmitter that you had to physically connect to your phone right and, and it was only limited to the iphone although you could hook up another phone to it using a headphone jack right headphone cable so there was some finagling to get it to work but it would work right solve some problems right okay tell me a little bit about it okay this right here as you can see there's no wires <clears throat> yep. completely wireless you plug it into your cigarette lighter in your car and this part right here is your FM transmitter part, and it connects via to your phone by Bluetooth. Right. And when you open the box, it comes in two separate pieces, the cigarette lighter connector part and then the FM transmitter part. So we'll talk about this first. Okay. This top bar here, this button here, this is the actual power button. If you put it, it turns it on and off. Yep. And then this wheel here is the volume control. So not only do you have your volume control on your radio, you also have volume control on this. Plus, you can still use the volume control on your phone. Okay, so it handles the sound all the way across the board. Right, so no matter what which device you're using, you can still control your volume. Nice. And then this little screen here will show your uh, what station you need to transmit to turn your radio to. And then if you have it with your phone and you receive a phone call and you answer the call, it actually has a little timer and shows you how long you're on the phone right. with someone. Okay, interesting point. So not only will it play your music and podcasts and other Media. Audio. Yes. Audio media on there. You can also answer the phone. Right. Okay. Yeah, you can't talk into this device, though. <coughs> you still have to use your phone. Right. Talk to your... Uh, the mouthpiece on your phone, but you can at least listen to it better through your car stereo speakers. Right, which is way handier than trying to listen to it. And, of course, you know the law now. You cannot drive by using your phone, but right. you can answer it and set your phone on the sticky pad we reviewed last time. Right. Use that and then listen to your car radio. Right. Very handy. And then these two little buttons here, this is your rewind fast forward button for your audio. And this little wheel here, here is for your FM, the stations, it'll the tune tuner. you. Yes, it, it tunes it. So that's a lot of stuff in a little package. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then tell us about the other part. Okay. And this is the base part. Like I said, this is a cigarette lighter. And then this back here has a USB port. You can actually charge your device while you're using mm -hmm. it because Bluetooth uses more battery because you're right. turning some, another radio uh, broadcasting your phone so you can charge your device while you're using it so just nice. plug in your an extra plug so that you have it right and yep. taking place of your charger that, you, that I normally have plugged in my cigarette lighter. exactly <coughs> and right. to connect it it's this is all magnetic so there's no possibly wrong way to plug it in and you right, just, right. it just snaps right into place and what's nice is you know if your your truck you may have to plug it in this way but then you know the car you may have to turn it this way so that you can just um, and snap this and, and move the train around where you can see it right get all the controls right very nice all right um go over the pros of this i mean so far i'm dazzled i like it it looks it looks good uh, yeah i like the black with the chrome accents yeah very pretty uh, very nice uh ease of use very small which i love because there was a lot of them out there that are big and bulky and just get in the way and and seeing this car you know to change gears is right in the middle of the console and I w didn't want something in the way that's a big right. big yep. thing with me because a lot of vehicles don't have the you know the yeah. bar like they used to that's on the center, yeah, the console, center console now. Yeah and that could be a safety issue. You just, right. You just don't want to deal with that. Right so, so it was small, small and compact. Out, out of the way easy to use. Literally I just turned this on and my phone picked it up and told it to connect to it and it, it was ready to go. There wasn't you know a lot of things with Bluetooth you know you have to punch in codes and fight with this yeah. and stand on your head literally turn it was literally plug and play. So no lag or any Fancy connection issues. Right. Excellent. Okay. So, so far compact, which makes it safer. 
Two, easy to connect with Bluetooth. What else you got on the pro list? Just, just overall ease of use. I mean, one wheel to <coughs> change your stations, one wheel to ch adjust your volume. I mean, they've really thought this product out. Good. All right. So good design. Yes. And like I said earlier, I'd, I'll say the fourth at end of days pro here. <laughs> it looks nice. Yes. It's fancy looking. Not so fancy that you wouldn't like it, but, you know, nice tone to it. Looks good, compact. Right. Er ergonomic? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. All right, so list of the cons. What's okay. The, what's the downside of this? Well, the one con, and I like this device so much that it was hard for me to find the con, and, you know, you and I have discussed this several times that yep. we find it's hard to, it's best to make a review that you can be honest on both sides because right, right. there's not a perfect product. Yep. Okay, and the one con that I had was these two buttons, the rewind and the fast forward. I found that they're kind of close together. Yeah. That if you're driving down the road and you know you I'm hit one of those, you might actually looking. yeah you might accidentally hit the wrong button. So they could it might be a little redesign. They could put them on top of each other or yeah. a little more spacing. Not a big con, not a deal breaker, but right. just something to consider. Just something for their uh, revamped model. Right. That comes out next year spread those out or, and or make them a little more tactile friendly. Right. Okay. That's not too bad. You know, and uh, as we talked before the show, when we were talking about um, replacing some of the stuff you already have in your car, right? Bluetooth speaker and so forth, like I have, some sort of microphone capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know this. Awesome. I, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Yeah, this, I know this uh, is one of the cons that, that you discussed. Yeah, cause, uh, just because if you hook your phone to it, and, and talk a little bit about that, if you answer your call, where do you stand? Okay. Right now, the way this is designed, if you answer the call that's hooked, you know, to the phone that's connected with this, it will, you can play through the speakers, you can hear right. it just fine over the car stereo, but the drawback is you still have to use the microphone on your phone to talk. So right. you either have to hold it, set it in your center console. Do and like I do, stick it on the sticky pad. Yeah, set it on the grab pad. But it's still far away. The grab pad is far away to try to use that for microphone capabilities. Right. Okay, so maybe in the future add a microphone yeah, yes. capability to it. Of right. Sort. Okay. All right, and the overall review, Joe's thumbs up, thumbs down, or five star rating? Our five star rating, I got to give it a four. Four, that's pretty good. I like this, and again, we're reviewing the uh, MPAL. Yes, it's uh, the Steamboat. Steamboat Y Bluetooth FM transmitter. Okay, sounds good. Well, Joe, this is great bringing this to the show. Uh, and for everybody out there, as always, you're trying to save money, make their life more efficient, or help safeguard their technology usage right. and their personal information. Make so life a little easier and a little safer. I agree. I think this fits in two categories. Yes. More efficient, safer, and then uh, cheaper. So, And I know you have this on your store. I've seen it. Yes. So I walked in, I was like, I know that. <laughs> so uh, it's on your store for under 60 bucks. Yeah, right. Uh, it retails for $75, but we've got it much cheaper on our yep. store. So, uh, so, and if price. you're watching this video on YouTube, check the link below, and we'll have a link straight to our store. All right, sounds great. And if someone needs to get a hold of you, if I had more questions about this, uh, watch the review or saw it on your website and they want to get a hold of you to get more information on how they do that. You can give us a call. Our office is at 304-927-3588 or check out our new web redesigned website at amdigitaltechnologies.com and check under the contact us page and there's an actual form you can fill out right on our website. Yep, and I like that. There's plenty of ways to get a hold of you. You can be friends like I am with you on Facebook. Yes. Uh, and you get the daily specials and see everything, and you can link through everything through it as well. Right. Which makes it very nice. I sit there and see things that pop up daily. Like, Ooh, I want one of those. I'm still waiting on that call that <laughs> you won the lottery and Order it all. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'm with you. Okay. So, as always, this uh, show is hosted by A&M Digital Technologies with Joe out front in front of the camera and Cena in the back producing the shows. And um, make sure you shop local. Uh, A&M Digital Technologies, a local store and uh, customer service, along with a bunch of services now in the tech field. And uh, also producing all our shows here at Patch 21 and changing them into podcasts. And, and uh, YouTube. Our, our YouTube, YouTube channels are blowing and, up, which we yeah. love. And so, we appreciate everybody's responses on there. That's really active. Oh, yeah. It makes it wonderful. So, as always, uh, if you got a shop for technology or services in the technology field, call A&M Digital Technologies first. And we'll be back next week with some more exciting stuff and some more news, I'm sure. That'll work. All right. Thank you, Joe. All right. Thank you.